When you are a refugee, everyone is vulnerable. But as a woman refugee, there is more trouble. That doesn't mean weakness. It means that as women, we don't have enough space to even feel human. My name is Wasan. I'm in my mid-twenties and I was born in East Africa. I grew up in an orphanage without a family. I could only depend on myself. This is the first time I'm telling my story. Since the age of seven, I felt my culture punished girls by making us servants of boys. Boys get all the opportunities. Our bodies and minds are nothing but slaves. My country is a war zone. I remember the sky covered with smoke from fires, burning houses, weapons, and fresh human blood. I will survive. In 2016, I was working as a nanny for a rich family. One night, I was going home when I met some street boys. They attacked me. The next day, I did not go to work. When the family found out what happened, they helped me leave the country. I felt scared when I met the smuggler. I was smuggled to Malaysia and then I decided to go to Indonesia. People told me I could have a better life there. The boat was full with 25 foreigners, different skin colors, different languages. When water entered the boat, everyone was shouting and crying and no one understood me. I did not know how to swim. I was ready to die. After three days, I arrived in Jakarta at midnight, frustrated and confused. The street was full of strangers and I was worried I would be abused like back home. So I stayed awake till 7 a.m. For the first six months, I was homeless. The locals told me they think refugees are terrorists and that we are violent. They are scared of us. I was scared too. I didn't know a single word of English. So to survive, I had to learn English. Good morning. Every day, I used YouTube to learn for four to six hours. Nice to meet you. I also learned Bahasa. Now, I understand their culture better. Learning English is for survival, but learning Bahasa is for peace of mind. Since I was 10, I started journaling. Writing is my best friend, and it is the only place where I can listen to myself clearly. In 2019, I started the Akipalaga with my friend, Kiran. It's a free online magazine for the refugee community in Indonesia. Our writers are stateless people from different countries and half are women. Many lose motivation because we struggle to meet our basic needs. However, we dream of the same things as you. I dreamt of being a writer. When I published my first online article in March 2020, I couldn't believe it. I read my words over and over again. The world can now hear my voice. It showed me that I can do whatever I want. I hope that through our words, we can build a community with the rest of the world. I have been in Indonesia for five years. I am a teacher, interpreter, and a leader now. 
and I help other refugees the best way I can. Warsan in my language means bearer of good news. And I hope to represent the voiceless and the displaced. My friends tell me my stories bring them hope. I am my own role model, no matter what my life circumstance. I tell myself that bad moments aren't forever and that things always have a way of working out. <laughs>